Let's talk about some couplers. The spring coupler, this is a fuse. And I mean that truly. These springs are designed to break. If the coupler breaks, there's a problem. The coupler normally will not break until this motor is out of a line. When the motor's out of a line, there's two pump shafts. You have the motor shaft and the pump shaft, and what happens is the motor sags, causing the shafts to be out of line. When it's out of line, you break the coupler. Couplers are very inexpensive. So, if somebody says, I have numerous couplers that have been failing on my 100 series pump. I've gone through three couplers this year. Chances are, on the very end of the pump, on the motor, this area here is a rubber resilient mount. It is a ring mount. That re rubber mount, the ring mount, is replaceable. It's called the motor coupler story. When couplers start to break, ring mounts sag, you replace the ring mounts, replace the coupler. There's not a need to buy a whole new motor. These are stocked in as uh, they've been selling these for a long time. These are um, really good. And the reason why they sag is over oiling. We're back to where I was talking to two ports on here, 10 drops on either end of it on system startup and mid-year. If you tend to over oil this, it overflows and it runs into the neoprene and it will actually sag it. So oiling is important, but over oiling is bad.